fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. اهلا بكم في حلقه جديده وفيديو جديد لقناتنا English for Arabs. النهارده ان شاء الله هنبدا بالوحده التاسعه. Today we are going to take unit number 9 Interchange 2 for Sedition. Unit 9 part 1. This video will include vocab book, words, their meaning in English and Arabic. Also, we are going to have the explanation and the answer for the exercises. Let's start. Unit 9. Back to the future. 1. Transportation. The system of transporting. Railroad. Railway. Railroad. Railway. Ocean liners. Large ships that cross the ocean. Large ships that cross the ocean. Airplanes. Aeroplanes. Airplanes, aeroplanes, spacecraft, space vehicle, spaceship, spacecraft, space vehicle, spaceship, postal system, postal system, the service that collects and delivers the letters, postal system, the service that collects and delivers the letters, letters, American, British letters, postal system. The service that collects and delivers the letters. Virtual reality games. Virtual reality games. 3D. 3D. Three dimensional. Three dimensional. 3D. Three dimensional. Having or showing. Length, depth, and height. Length, G silent. Depth and height gh silent three lengths depths and height three dimensions three dimensional lengths depths and height hybrid car hybrid car a car with an engine that uses petrol and electricity hybrid car a car with an engine that uses petrol and electricity time machine a machine in which people can travel into the past or the future. Time machine. A machine in which people can travel into the past or the future. Cell phone implant. Cell phone implant. An internet which is connected to the physical senses of touch, seeing, hearing. An internet which is connected to the physical senses of touch, seeing, hearing. Two, the words of exercise number two. Two, words of exercise number two. Candies, sweets. Multiplex cinema, a movie theater complex. A movie theater complex, multiplex cinema, a movie theater complex with different screens. With different screens. Multiplex cinema, a movie theater complex with different screens parking lot an outside car park an outside car park 5 population people 6 technology the practical discoveries of scientific discoveries technology the practical discoveries of scientific discoveries entertainment having fun Entertainment, having fun. Production, production, when you say what will happen in the future. Production, when you say what will happen in the future. Soap opera, a continuing television drama about people's lives and problems. Soap opera, a continuing television drama about people's lives and problems. 
will star in movies, will be a famous actor or actress in movies. Will star in movies, will be a famous actor or actress in movies. Unit 9. Time have changed. Enter change to Unit 9. 1. Snapshot. Past, present, and future. How has life changed past, present, and future? Entertainment, having fun. Transportation, means of transporting, ways of transporting. Communications, to communicate. How the life in the past was different than now and in the future, tomorrow. Look at the picture. First picture, this is life in the past. What do you see? Radio. Family. Boy, girl. Son, daughter. Mom and dad, father and mother. And this is life maybe in 1960s or 1950s in the USA. Maybe less than this. So, entertainment, radio and movies. People used to listen to the radio or go to the movies, go to the cinema. Two, present, now, how life changed. Entertainment, we have computer games, high definition TV, high definition TV, HD TV, and 3D movies, three dimensional movies. Three dimensional movies, movies that you have depth, length, height, as if you are inside the movie. But if it's real scene, three in the future, how life and how entertainment will change in the future. In the future, yes, as you see here, you have someone, he's wearing glasses, and from the glasses there is something like light. So what's this? In the future, we're going to have thought-controlled videos, game, video games. So you just think in the movement and it's gonna happen. This is thought controlled video games and virtual reality movies. Virtual reality movies. As if they are real movies, real films. Transportation. In the past, people used railroads, railroads, trains, and ocean liner. Ocean liners, big ships that cross the ocean. Example for ocean liner, for an ocean liner, Titanic, Titanic ship, very big ship. In present, nowadays, we have high, hybrid, hybrid cars, high speed trains, and spacecraft. Hybrid cars, this car has a motor that can use electricity. Electricity cars. These cars use electricity. High speed trains, trains that goes, trains that go high in high speed. One thousand kilometers per hour. Spacecraft, spaceship. In the future, we're going to use self drive self-driving cars you don't need to drive the car you don't need a driver there is a program in the car you tell the car go home go to Cairo for example in the Doki area so the car moves to Cairo governorate a Doki area GPS you have of course Positioning system, the GPS shoes, shoes that use GPS. And time machine, time machine, these machines can transform you into the past or can move 
these machines can move into the future or you return to the past. Communications. Communications. In the past, people used the telephone and the postal system. The postal system, this is system to post letters. You send a letter. After 15 days, this letter may reach and sometimes it didn't reach to the address. Now we use text messaging, video phones and social networking. You have the phones, your mobiles and we use, you write texts and you send a message. Or you use video phone, like you send a message and this message you send it as a video. It has your picture, your photo. And if it's a, a small video or a short video. And social networking, such as Facebook. In the future, people are going to use cell phone implants. You have a cell phone, a mobile, and this mobile is it's going to be in your body or on the skin the internet and 3d social networking 3d social networking are going to talk some to someone and a picture of the person will appear it has the the length the height the depth of the person and if the person is talking to you in front of you to you face to face This is the future. Which of these past and present developments are the most important and why? For you, what do you think? What is the best invention? What is the most important invention in the past, present and why? In the past, the telephone. The telephone for communication was very important because you can talk to anyone a person who lives in the USA you can talk to him and you are in Egypt so that was a great invention after the telephone that was the beginning for having of course the cell phone or the mobile do you think any of the future developments could happen in your lifetime of course in the future, we're going to have different inventions and maybe uh, I'm going to have the cell phone implants in my lifetime. It could happen in my lifetime. Sensory internet, 3D, 3D social networking, self-driving cars, GPS, virtual reality games. Most of them are going to happen most of these development development are going to happen in my lifetime can you think of two other developments that could happen in the future so every student is going to tell the class about the future development exercise two conversation that's a progress that's progress Look at the picture here. What do you see? Young man and young lady. What's this? This is a mall. Mall. Over here, simplex. It is multiplex cinema. A cinema with different screens. Let's listen. Unit 9. Times have changed. Page 58, Exercise 2, Conversation. That's progress. Part A, Listen and Practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Remember how we used to rent videotapes at that little video store? Yeah. 
Now it's a multiplex cinema. And I hear they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. That's progress, I guess. This neighborhood sure has changed. Neighborhood district. I know. A few years ago, in the past, a few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. The population, the number of people. Remember how we used to rent videotapes at the little video store? Little T sub D. At that little video store? Video store? A shop for selling or renting videotapes? Yeah, now it's a multiplex cinema. A cinema with different screens. And I hear they are tearing down our high school. Tear down, destroy. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon, there will be just malls and parking lots. Parking lots. An area for parking the cars. Outside parking area. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. The people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Nowadays, they drive cars. That's progress. Progress. Development. Development. Progress. Development. I guess. I think. What happened in the neighborhood? The neighborhood has changed a lot. What about the population? A few years ago, in the past, not many people lived in the neighborhood. But now, the population is growing so fast. A lot of people are here nowadays. What did Tanya and Matt used to do in the past? They used to rent videotapes at that little video store. What did Tanya and Matt used to do in the past? They used to rent videotapes at little video store. What happened to the little video store? It's a multiplex cinema. What happened to their high school? The high school is destroyed. Why? To build a shopping mall. Why do people build shopping malls in this neighborhood? Because there are a lot of people they need malls and parking lots. Did everyone have a car in the past? No. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Fifty years ago, people walked every day. Everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a hair salon. Really? What about the Thai restaurant next to it? I loved that place. Oh, that's still there. Let's go there this weekend. I'll drive. I can pick you up. Great. Page 58, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a hair salon. Really? What about the Thai restaurant next to it? I loved that place. 
Oh, that's still there. Let's go there this weekend. I'll drive. I can pick you up. Great. B. What else has changed in their neighborhood? What happened to the old box store? The old box store is a hair salon. Now it's a hair salon. What about Matt and Tanya? What about Matt and Tanya? What are they gonna do? They are going to eat in a Thai restaurant next to the hair salon. Thai, Thailand. Thai restaurant. A restaurant that offers Thailand foods and Thailand meals. Exercise 3. Time contrast. Let's start to listen. Page 59. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon there will be apartment blocks everywhere. People used to rent videotapes. Today, people download movies online. In a few years, movie theaters might not exist. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. People are going to have self-driven cars in the future. Time contrasts here will make comparison between past, present, and future. In the past, few years ago, not many people lived here. People used to rent videotapes. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. So here in the past, to express the past, we use subject, verb plus D, E, D, I, E, D. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. What about if I have a habit, a repeated action in the past that I stopped, do it now. So, people used to rent the videotapes. We're gonna use subject, used to, plus main verb, and main verb, rent. People used to rent videotapes. To express the past, you can use the simple past, subject, verb, plus D, E, D, I, E, D. Or, subject, used to, infinitive. The key words here, when I was a child, I used to study English. When I was a child, I used to play in the street. When I was a child, I used to get up early. With the symbol past, in the past, yesterday, last week, last month, last year, a month ago, a year ago, few days ago, I studied English. Present. To make sentence in the present, you can use the present continuous. Present continuous, now, nowadays, in this month, in this week, in this year. So these days the population is growing so fast. So I can use what subject, M is R, verb plus ing. Or the simple present. Today, people download movies online. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. We're gonna have subject, verb. If the subject, he, she, it, verb with S, E, S, I, E, S. If the subject, we, you, they, I, verb, as it is. So present, you can use present continuous, subject M is R, verb plus ING, something happening now. Or use simple present, he, she, it, verb with S, verb plus S, E, S, I, E, S. 
future. Soon, there will be apartment plaques everywhere to express the future, tomorrow, in the future. You can use will plus main verb. Subject, will, main verb, verb. Soon, there will be apartment plaques everywhere. Soon, Egypt will be a great country. In a few years, movie theaters might not exist. People are going to have self-driving cars in the future. So this is in the future. You can use also what subject am, is, are, going to, plus infinitive. So again, for the future, you can use well, subject well, plus main verb, or subject am, is, are, going to, plus the verb. A. Complete the sentences in column A with the appropriate information in column B. Then compare with a partner. In this exercise, you match 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 with A, B, C, D until H. You match. Example. About 60 years ago, H. Many TV shows were in black and white. So number 1, H. Two. Before the automobile, this is a car, D, people didn't travel as much from city to city. 3. Before there were supermarkets, G, doctors might find the... 3. Before there were supermarkets. A. People used to shop at small grocery stores. 3. A. People used to shop at small grocery stores. People used to buy from small grocery stores. 4. In most offices these days, F. People work more than 40 hours a week. 4F. 5. In many cities nowadays, B. Pollution is becoming a serious problem, a very dangerous problem. So 5B. 6. In many classrooms today, students are learning with interactive whiteboards. So number 6. C. 7. In the next hundred years, doctors might find a cure for the common cold. A cure that gets rid of the common cold. Eight. Sometime in the near future, there will probably be cities in space. Sometime in the near future, there will probably be cities in space. Again, the answers number one, H, two, D, three, A, four, A, four, F, five, B. 6, C, 7, G, A, E. B. Complete four of the phrases in part A, column A, with your own ideas. Then compare with a partner. Now, after we answer and match, now let's make the sentences by our own selves. Example, about 60 years ago in the past, said H, many TV shows were in black and white. 
Now you can answer about 60 years ago we didn't have TVs in Egypt. We didn't have TVs in Egypt. Before the automobile Before the automobile People used to ride donkeys and horses Exercise number four Pronunciation Intonation statements with time phrases Here listen and brax Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with the time phrase Here the first part of the sentence you have time phrase Something related to time Words about time In the past Today In the future Then you have a sentence At the end of the sentence the sound is down Sound is down Sound goes down But The beginning of the sentence you have time phrase Okay the sentence, the arrow is higher. Say, in the past, today, in the future, in the past, very few people used computers. So the sound goes down. Let's listen. Page 59, exercise 4, pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Page 59, Exercise 4, Pronunciation Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Intonation in statements with time phrases. So here we have these time phrases. Time phrases in the past. As a child. Five years ago. Today. Nowadays. In the future. In five years. In ten years. In the past. As a child. Five years ago. Today. Nowadays. In the future. In five years, in ten years. So these are time phrases. They express time. The sound is up, higher, in the past. As a child. As a child, I used to play in the club. Then the sentence, at the end of the sentence, the sound is down. So the time expressions will make the sound higher. But if we have sentences after this, the sound is down at the end. As a child, I used to play football. Five years ago, I traveled to Paris. The sound goes down at the end of a sentence. Nowadays, I'm working as an English teacher. In the future, I'll work as an instructor. B. Pair work. Complete these statements with your own information. Then read your statements to a partner. Pay attention to intonation. In these sentences, you try to make your own Sentence. As a child, I used to 
As a child, I used to play with toys. As a child, I used to watch. As a child, I used to watch cartoons. Five years ago, I. Five years ago, I graduated. Nowadays, I. Nowadays, I watch TV. These days. These days means nowadays. These days. Everything costs an arm and a leg. Everything is too expensive. It costs an arm and a leg means too expensive. In five years, in five years I'll be a millionaire. In five years I'll be a father. I'll, in five years I'll be married. In ten years I might. In ten years I might be a manager. In ten years, I might be a manager. In five years, I'll be a father. In five years, I'll be a millionaire. Exercise five: Listening. For better or for worse. A. Listen to people discuss changes. Check through the topic each person talks about. In this exercise, you are going to choose the topic. It is like number one, population or environment. Number two, B, you write the change. What's the change? Then this change was better, was good, or worse, or was too bad, too bad, bad, better, good. Listen, you're going to listen two times. Page 60, exercise 5, listening, for better or for worse. Part A. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Number one, what is the topic? Is it population or environment? Number one, environment. Environment. What is the change? The city has planted trees. The city has planted trees. So the place becomes much greener, much nicer, better. The place becomes better. This is good. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. You can't go anywhere without one. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait a long time for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. You can't go anywhere without one. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait a long time for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 2. What is the topic? Transportation. What is the change? In the past, 
There used to be there used to be a good bus system, but it isn't anymore. Why? Because they expect everyone to have a car. You wait a long time to wait for a bus. It takes a long time to wait for a bus. And when and when the bus comes, it's full. It's full of people. It's crowded. So this change better or worse? It's worse. Worse too bad. Three. Families or shopping. Listen. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. The only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's too bad. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. The only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's too bad. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Three? Three? What is the topic? Families. What is the change? In the past, 20 years ago, there used to be many children. Now, it's too quiet. Why? Because the children grew up and moved from their parents' houses, from their father's and mother's houses. They got married and lived in, an, in other places. But we only listen, we only hear the children the children's noise when the grandchildren come to visit their grandfathers and grandmothers, their grandparents. Exercise number six. Look at the picture. What do you see? A boy, a young man, maybe their brothers. They're watching television. They're watching a match, a football match on TV. 6. Speaking. Changing times. Group work. How have things changed? How will things be different in the future? Choose four of these topics then discuss the questions below. We have about nine topics and we have to think about the change. These topics are education, entertainment, environment, fashion, food, housing, shopping, sports, technology. What was it like in the past? In the past. What was it like today? What will it be like in the future? Past, present and future. How life changed in every topic? Let's talk about sports. A. In the past, people listened to sports on the radio. Nowadays, they can watch sports on HD TVs, high definition televisions too. In the future, maybe we will have glasses and on the glasses there is an internet and you can watch the video. You press the button on your glasses and you watch you watch the video on your glasses you choose other two or three topics and you imagine how life is different past, present and future fashion 
In the past, in Egypt, men and women used to wear galabiyas. Galabiya, this is an Egyptian dress. Egyptian dress. What's it like today? Today, we wear jeans, t-shirts for men, women, skirts and blouses. What will it be like in the future? Maybe in the future we are going to wear electronic, electronic clothes, technology clothes. Maybe these clothes can make your body warm when it's very cold. And if the weather is very hot, it can make your body cool. Make a discussion with your friends about these topics. Exercise number seven, writing. A description of a person. Try to describe the person, not only the shape, like she's wearing glasses, she's wearing sunglasses, she's wearing a necklace, a coat. No, would like to describe the person's personality, character. Per work, interview your partner, interview your friend about his or her past, present, and hopes for the future. Start to talk to your friend, to talk to your friend about his past, present and future. B. Write a paragraph describing describing how your partner has changed. Make some predictions about the future. Imagine what his future will be. Don't write your partner's name. Don't write your friend's name. Example. This person moved to our high school, to our school several years ago. That was in the past. She used to be the quietest girl in the class. So in the past, she used to be quiet. Now, she's in the drama club and loves to watch soap operas. This is now. This is present simple. Someday, the future, she'll be a successful actress. She'll be famous. She'll star in movies and on television, on TV. I think she will be a great announcer. I think she'll be a great TV host. I think she'll be a great actress. Can you write a paragraph about your friend in the past? Use a simple past verb with D-E-D, I-E-D or use to use in the present simple present or the present continuous and use for the future well and going to this is going to be homework you're going to write the three paragraphs about your friend past present and future homework number one listen and keep the words by heart number two watch the video and listen and repeat three answer three pages of unit number nine unit number nine part one four go to www.interchangearcade.org answer more questions wish you all good luck finally if you like it, share it and subscribe. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state of the art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments. 
and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. ممكن نجيب كتاب انترتشينج في أي مكتبة على مستوى العالم الكتاب موجود في العالم العربي كله في السعودية في الكويت الإمارات البحرين مصر والكتاب كمان موجود في فرنسا وإيطاليا وأسبانيا في كل الدول وفي أوروبا فكل الناس اللي هم بياخدوا اللغة الإنجليزية كلغة أجنبية تانية بيقدروا يستخدموا الكتاب عندنا مثلا في مصر في المكتبة الأكاديمية وده جنب مترو أنفاق الدقي مجرد تخرج من مسجد انفاق الدقي هتلاقي المكتبة على طول قدامك مكتبة سفينكس في شارع الشواربي شارع الشواربي في وسط البلد مشهور جدا فعندنا مكتبة جرير مكتبة جرير برضو بتقدم كتاب كتاب انتر تشينج السلسلة كلها وهي لها فروع في كل دول الخليج مكتبة الامازون اللي هي المكتبة رقم واحد على مستوى العالم ودي برضو فيها كل النسخ بتاعة الانتر تشينج Letters, American, British letters. Postal system, the service that collects and delivers the letters. Virtual reality games, virtual reality games. 3D, 3D, three-dimensional, three-dimensional. 3D, three-dimensional, having or showing lens, depth, and height. Lens G silent, depth, and height GH silent. Three lens depths and height, three dimensions. Three dimensional lens depths and height. Hybrid car. Hybrid car, a car with an engine that uses petrol and electricity. Hybrid car, a car with an engine that uses petrol and electricity. Time machine, a machine in which people can travel into the past or the future. Time machine, a machine in which people can travel into the past or the future. Cell phone implant, cell phone implant, an internet which is connected to the physical senses of touch, seeing, hearing, an internet which is connected to the physical senses of touch, seeing, hearing. 2. The words of exercise number 2. 2. Words of exercise number 2. Candies. Sweets. Multiplex cinema. A movie theater complex. A movie theater complex. Multiplex cinema. A movie theater complex with different screens with different screens multiplex cinema a movie theater complex with different screens parking lot an outside car park an outside car park 5 population people 6 technology the practical discoveries of scientific discoveries Technology, the practical discoveries of scientific discoveries. Entertainment, having fun. Entertainment, having fun. Production, production, when you say what will happen in the future. Production, when you say what will happen in the future. Soap opera, a continuing television drama about people's lives and problems. Soap opera, a continuing television drama about people's lives and problems. Will a star in movies will be a famous actor or actress in words, their meaning in English and Arabic? Also, we're going to have the explanation and the answer for the exercises. Let's start. Unit 9. Back to the Future. 1. Transportation. The system of transporting, railroad, railway, 
railroad, railway, ocean liners, large ships that cross the ocean, large ships that cross the ocean, airplanes, aeroplanes, airplanes, aeroplanes, spacecraft, space vehicle, spaceship, spacecraft, space vehicle, spaceship, postal system, postal system, the service that collects and delivers the letters, postal system, the service that collects and delivers the letters. Fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. اهلا بكم في حلقه جديده وفيديو جديد لقناتنا English for Arabs النهارده ان شاء الله هنبدا بالوحده التاسعه Today we are going to take unit number 9 Interchange 2 for Sedition Unit 9 part 1 This video will include vocab book